Well, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you here. My name is Mitch Campbell, and for approaching around 30 years, Randy Puno has been my partner and friend in the practice of spine surgery at the Leatherman Spine Center. And tonight, we're here to take a walk through the illustrious journey of a man who has not only changed the face of spinal surgery, but has touched the lives, countless lives along the way, Dr. Randy Puno. In the grand tapestry of spine surgery, pioneers like Dr. Hibbs and Dr. Alby carved out the initial path. Later joined by inspirational Dr. Kenton Leatherman, who founded the cornerstone in spinal treatment, but it was Dr. Puno driven by his upbringing and a deep-seated passion for problem solving. He would elevate spine surgery to new heights. Our journey begins with a young Randy Puno fueled by curiosity and creativity, traits nurtured by his father, Rufino, who was an engineer, and he inspired Randy to view the world through the lens of innovation. At the Don Bosco Technical Institute, and later at the University of East Ramon, Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center, Randy embarked on a voyage that seamlessly blended medicine with engineering fostering a mind that was both analytical and compassionate. Well, in high school, I was exposed to one of my uncles who was a general surgeon. He brought me to clinics and also to surgery, and I found it really fascinating that by uh, being able to do those uh, things, I'll be able to help people. Randy's venture into orthopedic surgery began under the guidance of Ho Dr. Jose Silao at the Philippine General Hospital of the University of the Philippines. It was a prelude to a promising journey that saw him collaborate with great minds like Ramon Gastillo at the Hennepin County Medical Center. In the Twin Cities Scoliosis Center, Randy found his true calling. Alongside eminent personalities like Dr. Robert Winter and Dr. Abbott Bird, he played a pivotal role in the inception of a new instrumentation design called the Puno Winter Bird System. I believe that my major contribution in the field of spinal surgery is the development of the uh, polyaxial pedicle screw because it allowed surgeons to be able to fix the spine in a very stable manner without having to use external immobilization like a brace or a cast. In fact, the technology is being used all over the world for many types or different types of spinal conditions, including spinal deformity like scoliosis or fractures of the spine following trauma and sometimes instability of the spine following removal of tumors. In 1991, Randy joined the Spine Institute for Special Surgery, which had eventually evolved into the Leatherman Spine Center. It is the second oldest spine center in the United States, and we treat all kinds of spinal conditions that arises from the base of the skull all the way down to the pelvis. The center has become a renowned for not only its excellence and innovation, but for fostering a global community of spine surgeons with its prestigious fellowship program, mentoring more than 130 fellows over three decades, Randy has created a ripple effect of knowledge and expertise across the world. Even today, many of the former fellows reach out to him for guidance on complex cases. His open door policy extended to his home, inviting fellows who were on call or couldn't make it back home for Thanksgiving to join his family's holiday dinner or hosting cooking lessons or even a multi-course meal with wine pairing for the fellows and their spouses. His love for community was not limited to the fellows. His legendary lakeside summer spine parties for the surgical and office staff became something beloved as an annual tradition. But Randy's influence and outreach extended beyond the Spine Center community. In one remarkable incident, he championed the case of a teenager from Ethiopia who was dealing with a painful, worsening scoliotic curve of the spine. The teenager endured cruel jokes about his deformity. Understanding the gravity of the condition, which threatened eventually to rob the patient of his ability to breathe and the life, Randy worked on to secure support from the hospital surgical groups 
and the Children's Hospital Foundation. The foundation stepped in to fund this life-altering surgery here in Louisville, giving the patient a chance to not only breathe freely, but to embrace a new life with a newfound confidence. Half a world away, another patient faced a similar grim prognosis in the Philippines. With diminishing lung function and a family unable to afford any type of medical intervention, hope seemed all but lost. An example is this child from the Philippines that I treated. She had a really bad spinal deformity that no one had ever seen before. It was so bad and unique that we had to create a spine model or a plastic model out of our CT scan in order to help us figure out how we tackle it in surgery. This was a beacon of hope for that family. Dr. Puno proved that with determination and a heart and a community all in the right place, miracles are absolutely possible. His proudness extended beyond the operating room and onto the baseball field. When renowned baseball player Adam Duvall encountered a career-threatening injury, he turned to Dr. Puno. Conducting a minimally invasive spine fracture repair, Randy paved the way for Adam to not only return the field to play, but clinching the most coveted World Series title with his team. As we gather here to honor Dr. Puno's phenomenal journey, we realize it's not just a celebration of retirement, but a tribute to a man whose innovations and humanitarian efforts have given many a chance to live a new life. Thank you, Randy, for lighting the way with your knowledge, your compassion, a relentless spirit. Here's to a retirement filled with adventures as groundbreaking as your career. We wish you the best. Godspeed.